just because Jason was married to Brenda for a few months a long time ago doesn't mean that he has to take care of her forever. I'm just kind of curious why you're not taking care of her. Brenda listed Jason as her next of kin and her emergency contact. Uh -huh. All I did was pick up the phone. Maybe you should ask Jason why he was on the next plane to Rome and taking over her life. Give it a try. I'm warning you, I am really bad. You're doing great. How's that? It's okay. Are you, are you okay? It's a deep question, of course you're not okay. Why would you... It's not your fault. Okay, I was moving too fast. No, I'm sorry. You're apologizing to me. That's crazy. You are a great guy. Really. Okay, I was trying to make this nice for you. Just come sit with me. It's okay. I didn't mean to hurt you. I'm sorry. You didn't hurt me. I'm fine. We can talk some more. No. This isn't gonna work. Everybody knows Brenda's a pain. Jason, d doing your job is one thing. I totally get that. We've already talked about it. But when this woman here is dismissing me from your office, I've got a problem with that. You wanna talk problems? This isn't a simple threat. The Balkan is an international crime figure. He's a killer. I don't think Brenda deserves to die just because you don't want to share your boyfriend. This is a bad idea. I don't agree. Sam said that I would like you, and I do. Okay. You're gonna have bruises. You didn't do it on purpose. I should have gone slower. It wouldn't have mattered. You just don't understand. I knew a guy once. I met him right after he got out of prison. He wouldn't talk about it much. But he said, you survive however you can. He also said that when they set you free, you need to leave the cell behind. I mean, part of getting over it is letting yourself be happy again. Doing things you enjoy. Trying new adventures. I mean, I don't want to brag or anything, but he used to say that I healed him better than anything else. Look, I'm, I'm sure you're wonderful. Well, I was hoping that you would let me show you. I promise. I'll take it really slow. this, but I can't. You don't have to do anything you don't want to do. The thing is, is I want to. But... Look, I'll pay you for your time. No, there's... Don't worry, there... there's no money. I'm sorry. Don't be. I can tell you're uncomfortable, so... I'm gonna leave now. If you change your mind, I'd really love to see you again. Just tell Sam, she'll find me. Thanks. When I was a 
good journalist, I wrote about things my publishers wouldn't print. They were too ugly for people to want to read with their morning coffee. And besides, we all know the public is much more interested in the lives of celebrities. So when I started ASEC, I found someone who could give them a little sugar with their child prostitution and slave labor. Brenda may be spoiled and headstrong, but she's golden. Okay, that's good. At least you admit you're in it for the money. You're damn right I'm in it for the money. Brenda generates publicity, and that generates donations, and that makes a difference in the lives of thousands of children. I adore Brenda. She's an amazing woman, and yes, she's high maintenance, but so what? So why aren't you the one who can keep her in line? I'd love to. But these days, the only person who seems capable of keeping Brenda in line is your fella. Unless you've decided she's not worth the time and trouble. I'm not gonna let her die. Look, I get it, okay? Excuse me. Hello? What? Oh, no. All right. I'll be right there. No, what, ha what, ha what, ha what happened? What are you talking about? I don't know. Something. I'm, I'm going to handle this, okay? You stay here and handle... What are you... Wait, I'll call you. Okay, you call me. Yes, Sam, you got to call I me. I call. Oh, I don't know who Michael is, but that sure pushed your buttons. You know, Michael is my nephew. He's uh, 18 years old, and... His parents and I made a lot of bad decisions for him. A young person in trouble, it breaks your heart. And it's rarely of their own making. And he was exposed to a lot of violence, as you can imagine. And we did everything we could to protect him, but he still ended up in prison. Drugs? He, uh, he killed somebody in self-defense. Taking a life changes a life. I saw that firsthand in the war with child soldiers. Children. Innocent children. Brainwashed and trained to commit obscene, violent crimes. Yeah, I tried to protect him from violence and then I had to teach him how to be violent. Well, at the risk of sounding like a Pollyanna, I... there is hope. I've seen people change. It's not easy. It takes a lot of patience and a lot of love to undo the damage, but I'll bet if you're willing to be constant with him and put in the time, you can probably help your nephew heal. your friend I'm sorry I don't why why are you sorry she called me she said everything was great did she say that how I embarrassed myself no she didn't say anything like that well her real name's Abby we talked I mean really talked I thought maybe you'd work out but I blew, it. I blew it what do you mean you blew it I'm sure everything's fine you're probably overreacting Sam you couldn't possibly understand You don't have to wait out here. I don't want to see Sam or Brenda. I think Brenda's uh, sleeping and Sam said she was going to see you, so come on. Sam uh, tried to help me. It's not her fault on the train wreck. What happened? Sam found me this really great girl. She's nice and beautiful. 
I thought it was gonna work out, but I blew it. I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> There's nothing you can't say to me, Michael. Maybe, you know, might help to just talk it through. I was nervous, which is normal, right? I mean, it's my first time. I tried not to be too weirded out about it. Yeah, anybody would be, would be nervous. She tried to get me to relax. She asked me to dance. Then we kissed. And that was okay. I mean, that was actually more than okay. But then she tried taking my shirt off. And I just lost it. For a split second, I wasn't in the hotel room anymore. I was in prison with Carter. And I wanted to kill him. And I grabbed her arms really hard and... I tried to pretend that she wasn't freaked out, but of course she had to be. How messed up is that that I can't even be with a girl? You can't be too hard on yourself. You know, a lot of that stuff you felt, nerves, it's, it's all normal. No, it's not. It's not normal. I'll never be normal. Try to do what you said. Get through every day, wait for enough time to pass to get better, but it's not working, I'm not strong enough. Yes, you are. Michael, you, you've been through hell, but you're a survivor. All surviving means is that I'm alive. It doesn't mean I'm actually living. I mean, Allie is this nice, sweet, normal girl, and she has no idea who I am, and I can't tell her. Bad stuff happened to you. But it doesn't have to define you. You're strong. You can heal. Every day you're a step closer to getting yourself back. What you can't do is give up on yourself. Because I will never give up on you.